Hey guys, it's Bianca Filoteo from That Radiant Glow. So today I wanna to share with you my number one tip for your overall skin health and how to get that healthy, glowing skin. There are a lot of tips out there that I can definitely share with you, but this, this one particular one I think is the most important and beneficial, and that is eating real food. So if you are eating a lot of processed foods every single day, that is actually not helping your skin whatsoever. And I had to learn that myself too, because I have a sweet tooth. And before I started my skincare journey, I was eating a lot of processed junk. So chips, uh, chocolate bars, pizza, uh, vegetables and fruits were not really the main ingredients in anything I ate back then. So when I finally decided to give this whole foods diet approach a try, there actually was an improvement to my skin. And when I noticed that within those 30 days, I knew that this was something worth exploring. Did my skin transform in those 30 days into perfect glistening glowing skin no <laughs> um, it did dramatically improve though so my skin seven years ago i had a lot of acne uh, rosacea a lot of redness especially on my t-zone um, blackheads and my skin was really oily so in terms of what i did in those 30 days i threw out all of the processed foods in my apartment. So it was like bread and pasta and chocolate bars and chips. And I really just focused on making my own food and started buying more vegetables and fruits, got some cookbooks from the library, searched some recipes online, and I got creative. So it wasn't easy because any new habit that you are embarking on, it's gonna be tough at the beginning but I'm telling you, it is worth it. So eating healthy, whole foods, that is basically, I think, the key in terms of improving your skin's overall health. So the processed foods that we're eating right now, there's no nutritional value in them whatsoever. And the way that your body pretty much processes it is through inflammation or acne. because It just doesn't know what to do with it. It's a foreign substance entering your body. So compare that to real foods, so vegetables and fruits. Your body knows nature, so it doesn't see the carrot that you ate yesterday as something foreign and actually knows how, what to do with it. There's nutrients in that, uh, in that carrot and in those vegetables and fruits. So if you are kind of icky on the vegetable part, don't worry, I was like that too, I hated vegetables. So one thing that really helped me was making a green smoothie um, in the morning, or just about like once a day. Um, and that actually helped adjust my palate for vegetables. So now I love vegetables, I love consuming them, I love making really yummy food with them. But beforehand it was really tricky because I was just not used to the taste of greens, of spinach or kale or anything like that. So I just wanted to let you know that don't worry if the thought of eating all those greens makes you sick. Um, Everyone has to start somewhere, but it really just, you just need to put the effort in. And if you, you don't have to go 30 days and, um, you know, completely ditch all of the processed foods like I did, um, realistically, you, the best thing to do is really just to reduce the amount of processed foods that you consume and just keep adding more real food into your diet. And hopefully you will be able to see a difference in your skin. It'll just take some time, but honestly, that is, it's crucial. Your diet, changing your diet will change your skin. So if you need a, um, a simple reminder, just think of healthy skin equals a healthy plate. All right, so I'm hoping that this tip helps you out. If you have any questions um, in terms of transitioning to a healthier diet or any other skincare questions, feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email at hello at thatradiantglow.com.
Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.